I've got an entirely seated practice for you today that you can do just about anywhere. All you need is a chair or something to sit on. So let's begin. We're going to come into bad waiter. You're going to turn your hands, palms face up towards the ceiling. And then from here, can you slide the shoulder blades down the back? Now imagine that you're holding two bowls of soup. We're going to take the hands wide. And then from here, can you bring the elbows forward of the body as you rotate the forearms, trying to spill the soup out of the backs of the bowls. Smooth, smooth breaths. See if you can reach the elbows even more forward, rotate the forearms a little bit more. And then from here, we're going to do a little external rotation Macarena. So we're going to straighten the arms. And as you do this, can you keep reaching the pinkies to the wall in the back, reach the elbows forward. Then we bring the arms forward of the body to parallel, still externally rotating, reaching the thumbs down to the floor. Bend the elbows. And then can you keep the elbows just where they are and take the hands wide? So pull the hands apart. That's it. And then we come back into bed waiter. This is one. Two, you straighten the arms. Three, take the arms to parallel. Four, bend those elbows. And then five, reach the hands apart. Let's do this two more times. Bad waiter. Straighten the arms. Keep reaching the elbows forward. Rotate the forearms. Arms to parallel. Bend the elbows. Then elbows stay just where they are. Reach the hands apart. And one last time. This is one, two, three. Reach the thumbs to the floor. Four, you bend the arms. And then five, reach the hands apart. Now let's stay here for another breath. See if you can take the hands even wider, squeeze the elbows in. And three, two, one, totally stop doing that. Let that go, swing the arms. Now as you swing the arms carefully, you don't hit anything. Don't hit your chair. Don't hit any objects that might be around you. You're welcome to close the eyes. Tick-tock the head. And as you swing the arms, careful that you're not pitching the upper body forward. Try to stay perfectly upright. Beautiful. So for the next part, we're gonna take the left arm behind the back. And can you slide that left shoulder down? So slide the shoulder blade down the back. The head's gonna lean over to the right. Can you begin to feel a stretch along the left side of the neck? And then from here, go ahead and bring your right hand up to encourage the stretch. And then we'll nod the head up and down. And anywhere that this feels a little bit icky or a little bit stuck, see if you can really notice those areas. And in a moment, when we add the rotation, that's what I want you to focus on. For now, just exploring this range of motion. So here we go. We add the rotation movement. The head is still leaning over to the right. And I'm pulling the left shoulder down strongly. Anywhere that this felt stuck a moment ago, see if you can really concentrate on those areas. Fantastic. Let's take the head back to center. We're going to switch sides so the right arm goes behind the back. Lean the head over to the left. Now, as you bring the left hand up, careful you don't bring that shoulder up as well. So keep the shoulder down away from the ear. We just spent the last few minutes opening up the left side. 
So we don't want to undo that. See if you can send your next inhale into the right side of the neck. And then we begin our little nods. Again, exploring this full range of motion. Let's add the rotation. Head is still tilted over to the left. Beautiful. Go ahead, come back to center. Take a moment here, tick tock the head. And next we're going to come into a little bit of a twist. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can see better. We're going to place the left hand behind the back. Now, if you have a back on your chair, you can actually grab the back of the chair or you can grab the pole or some of you might even be able to reach all the way around and grab the pole on the opposite side. But anything you can grab onto works well. If you're sitting on something that doesn't have a back or something like a bed, just press your hand into the seat. The right hand is going to come to the left thigh and begin to pull yourself into a twist. Now, notice that I'm staying very upright, not slouching here. So see if you can arch the chest, maintain the natural curve in the lower back. Smooth inhales. One more breath. And gently let that go. Go ahead and untwist. And then we're going to do the other side. So I'm gonna turn so you can see. Same idea. The right hand is going to go around the back. You grab onto anything that you can. Keep in mind that this side might feel very different. You may be more or less flexible twisting this way. We take the left hand to the right hip, to the right thigh, and twist, looking over the right shoulder. Once again, looking for a natural curve in the low back. And notice what it's like to breathe here. So it is much more challenging to take a full inhale in a twist. And this is why this is the perfect opportunity to practice inhalation. One more breath. Beautiful, go ahead and untwist. We'll come into our runner's stretch next. So you're going to place the right foot above the left knee and go ahead and roll the ankle. See, so we wanna make sure that we can do this movement here. A lot of the time this pose is done with the foot on top of the thigh rather than the ankle and see the position that I come into here. 
So this is what a sprained ankle looks like and you don't wanna practice that. So we err on the side of caution, make sure that the heel is beyond the thigh where you can roll the ankle. Now, don't push, but you're going to grab hold of the shin and actually use this to pull yourself upright. So see if you can arch your chest. Imagine trying to puff your chest out in between the arms. And now the work begins. Can you pull the knee down to the floor? So again, I'm not pushing. Can you turn something on in the outside of the right hip to pull the knee down towards the floor? Smooth, slow breaths. Now, another alternative is to take the hands behind the back and then you can use the hands there to arch up in the same way. So you can play around with the arm position. Perhaps you like one more than the other. Perhaps one feels a little bit better or is more accessible. So either option works and is perfectly fine. The only thing I care about is that you're arching up or looking for a natural curve in the low back. Let's do one more breath. And gently let that go. And we switch sides. So this time you cross the left ankle over the right knee. Make sure you can roll that ankle. And then I'll start with the arms with the hands on the shin. Without pushing down the opposite, you pull, get the chest up, and then can you begin to pull the knee down towards the floor? So something's got to turn on in the outside of the left hip for you to do this. And once again, if you prefer the hands behind the back, you're welcome to change to that variation. One more breath here. Beautiful. Go ahead, release that. One last thing to do here. We're going to interlace the fingers and then take your hands behind the base of the skull, slide the shoulder blades down and take the elbows pretty close. I'm going to tilt the head back and up towards the ceiling, but make sure you're using the hands to support the weight of the head. And you only tilt back as far as is comfortable. No one gets dizzy. And now we begin to reach the left elbow up towards the ceiling. Can you feel a stretch in the left side of the body? Then we lower down. And now stretch the right elbow up. Can you breathe into the right side of the waist? And then lower down. You're welcome to time this with the breath. So inhale, so you reach the left elbow up. Exhale, lower down, and then inhale, reach the right elbow up. Exhale, lower down. Let's do one more on each side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, reach. And exhale, lower down. Use your hands to bring the head back to center. Relax the arms, tick-tock the head. Turn left and right. Good. 
Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you again soon.